Hey there, it's Jason with the My Night Show with WJLT, the all new place for 80s, 90s, and now My1053 WJLT. All right, so we found a really, really cool thing going on tonight. And so we came out to actually Evansville's very own art district. We're on Haney's Corner, okay? Now, what I love about this area, because I'm like, I, I used to dabble in art, and I love the fact that right here in like downtown, kind of hidden away, tucked away, is this amazing arts district. So we have the Alhambra Theater, first of all. So this is an amazing historical place that we're actually here to talk about tonight. But then all around us is like, you know, right over here, this is the super poetry. I read this earlier today, and this poem is absolutely incredible. It talks about somebody that's trying to be a superhero, and they said, hey, why not, instead of trying to be somebody else, why don't I just be the hero that's inside of me? And I'm like, hey, I love it, love it. Actually kind of got a little bit of emotional with that one. Over here, some really cool modern art. Love it, love it. This way, we've got this nice fountain. There's food in this area, some amazing food. So if you haven't been to the Haney's Corner District, the Arts District in Evansville, you've got to give it a shot. Tonight, we've got a big fundraiser kind of event going on, and this is for the Alhambra Film Festival. Over at the Brew House, which is right next door, Evansville Brew House, next door to the Alhambra Theater, we've got drinks, we've got food, and we're actually going to be debuting films tonight. So I think it'd be cool. You want to go on inside and see if we can talk to Malcolm and the gang? Let's, let's go on inside. Inside here at the Evansville Brew House, they've not only got delicious uh, drinks and foods for us, but we're actually going to be debuting the film. And I want to show you guys some of the, the merchandise that they have for this year's film festival as well. So go on inside. All right, so I think Malcolm has got a second for us here. Let's get Malcolm. Malcolm? All right, so Malcolm, you said you earlier were the executive film anthropist. Is that right? I am the executive director of the film festival. Oh, okay. I am the chief film anthropist. So tell us what that means exactly. For us, that is members of the Alhambra Theater Film Festival who get so excited about the building and the film festival itself. We create our own special word. It's film anthropist. They get their own t-shirt. So, it's pretty special. special. No, all right, so I'm just going to get a t-shirt tonight. And actually, Absolutely. I want to go check out the merchandise. Yes. You, you want to grab Patrick for us? Yes, I will. All right, so I want to show you guys a couple things that I think are really cool. First of all, the t-shirts that Malcolm was talking about, the Metropist t-shirts are available. They've actually got these amazing Alhambra Theater Film Festival mugs, too. What I'm picking up tonight for sure is this year's Alhambra Film Festival official t-shirt. Look how awesome that is. And as you can see, that's a piece of art in itself. So amazing. All right, so, so he's got Patrick for us. Now, hey, Patrick Diggs, he's our artistic director for the film festival. Okay. He's done it for three years. And we couldn't do this without him. All right, so, so Patrick, obviously you've been the role of this thing happening. What is involved in, first of all, like getting the films gathered? I'd love to know that. And then you've got the hardest job of all, right? It's actually getting these things dominated and saying who are we going to feature. So answer first for me. How do we how do we gather the the, the films themselves? We put out a call. Uh, we put use a service called Without a Box and Film Freeway, okay. uh, which is an international uh, service that filmmakers submit from around the world. And you sort of hit different uh, levels of filmmakers with all the. the without a box in one and film free win another. So it works out really cool. We've got a great variety of films okay. uh, from all around the world. Uh, so once they submit, then we have a team of people that screen and they watch every single film that gets submitted. We get rid of the bad ones. <laughs> There are some bad ones. Well, you, yeah, you kind of made a face there a little yeah. bit. It's like, there's not always the best of stuff for at least a festival right. of like this. I would mean, assume, right. And, you know, the cream of the crop rises. And, you know, you see a big difference in the films that are really, really good. And so, from that, we take it to another level of judges that haven't watched the films at all. They make some decisions and come up with the nominations for the awards that we're giving out uh, on April 8th. Okay, so April, this is right around the corner, guys. I mean, so we're a little over two weeks away, right? And so, Tell me about A, B, and C. Like, what types of films are we going to have that we could see tonight, you know, on the preview and then at the festival itself? Okay, tonight we're just showing the trailers of the films. We okay. haven't released those in the public. We'll, we will be putting them on our Facebook page over the coming couple, couple of weeks. Uh, we have dramas. We have uh, a really good film called One Penny that I think is probably going to be one of the, the big nominees tonight. Uh, High school student named a space film called The Boundary. <laughs> and we also have another one that's French. It's very similar. Actors in this film. And he's so got Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is a high schooler from okay. yeah. Dallas. And, yeah. uh, I mean, we're talking all walks of life then, right? Everything. He it's made this film for $6,000. That was his budget. And it looks like something that you would see, you know, coming out right from yeah. Netflix. All right, so we, we were outside talking about this because, I mean, in this, this community, there is so much talent. 
and like to kind of have the throwback that we do here with this arts district and then to bring in the future filmmakers and to, like give them kind of a platform Absolutely. that sounds like it's what it's all about right it is yes. my goal is that we discover like the next big Spielberg or, or major director and from the very beginning I mean, the first year we had a nine-year-old kid that the film wasn't all that great but he had a lot of initiative. Two years later, he's back with his second film, and he's made leaps and bounds in the And so we're excited, and I believe Anthony's coming back in again. So he's coming in from uh, Baltimore, Maryland. And not only did he get to come here, but he was, he was recognized at the White House for his filmmaking abilities. Okay, so this is talent, like you said, that's, you know, he's from Baltimore. But I mean, we're coming local to Evansville. This is Evansville, Indiana, has filmmakers that are getting kind of recognized on a national scale in the White House. This is special, and I get to be a part of this tonight? Absolutely. That's pretty incredible. And you could be a part of it too. I mean, we're here for until 9 o'clock, right? Yep. And then the film festival, give us the details on the entire film festival if you will, because we, we're going to promote this for you, but we want to we want to get it in right now. Okay. April 6th is opening night. We're at, uh, at Showplace Cinemas East on Morgan Avenue. Uh, films start at 7 o'clock. The red carpet starts at 6. So come dress up. Uh, you'll have a chance to walk the red carpet. Get is this a chance for me to wear my tux? Absolutely. If this is the yeah, second time ever, I can bring the tux yeah, out? You can bring the tux okay. out. Okay. We'll, we'll throw those pictures out there. <laughs> okay. So we'll have about three hours of films at Showplace on April 6th. Then we head down to the local lounge, which is right behind the Alhambra Theater. And we'll have our after party. So we'll have a, a great uh, mix of the filmmakers that are there and my that, that's in attendance. The next day, we move down to the Tropicana Conference Center, which, if you are familiar with the casino area, they're building a new casino. Uh, but you still can park in the parking garage for free. Nice. Uh, once you go in towards the casino, hang a right and come down the escalator, and we've got all our film screen shows. So we got two big days of film festival, and uh, it sounds like at least one good night of some some fun and festivities on oh Friday night. Uh, there's parties every night. On Friday, we're going to start with a, a meet and greet before they start showing films uh, for the filmmakers themselves okay. to meet their compatriots, if you will, right. the folks who are going to be showing other films with them. So they're going to have a chance at Kirby's to have a private get-together with our membership group. We're going to let them come in and sponsors as well. Then we show films on Friday. Friday night, we're going to be right here during the first Friday. We're going to be promoing still, selling some tickets if you want some. And then we're going to go over to Walton's. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to enjoy that. Stella Artois, one of our big sponsors, and they're hosting a party for us on Friday night. On Saturday, we're going to be back at Tropicana showing films again. And then on Saturday night, we're going to give our awards out. We're going to finally announce who the big winners are. All this build-up. So finally going to have a thing. Yeah. And then, so then we get to go to Casa Finale. And I don't know if you know Casa Finale or not, but Kirk and Cherry Wright have this massive mansion right across from the Amazon Museum. And well, we get to go in the oh, party well, in a 12,000 square foot mansion. Was it, did you just say I was invited? Is well, that, you know. See what you can do with it. We're going to put you in there. See what you can do. We're going to get you on the list. <laughs> And then on Sunday, we're going to close out at Sunday at Tropicana, and what we're going to do is show all of the award-winning films. Because we are showing so many films, and Patrick knows, it's a common question we get asked, when can I see this again, when can I see this again? We're going to have on-demand as well as the winners, so if you miss something during the festival, you get a chance to see it again. That's absolutely incredible. Now, where can people find out information on, on buying tickets and, and this timeline that you just went over? All of it is available. Your best resource is the Alhambra Theater Film Festival .com. Okay. I know it's a lot, but if you hit it on Facebook, Facebook or on the website, you'll go. We have an app this year. And two an app. apps. Oh, it's nice. our program in an electronic fashion, so you can find out what's going on. Just like Heartland, just like Sundance, and we're the big I love it. I love that we're a part of it. I think tonight we ought to celebrate like the kickoff of this thing. Maybe go grab a brew from the, from the brewhouse. And then we'll see you guys uh, in a couple weekends out of the festival. Yeah, you should find beer. I said it would. You're getting me into the festival. So we'll see you guys in a couple weeks at the film festival.